chain. Ane. <laughs> just about repetition, consistency, focus, eating, sleeping, training. And I've gotten into my groove this week. It's been a, a very smooth ride with the diet wise. I've been hitting 2,500 calories per day, which is hard to nail down. Knowing myself, uh, it's really hard to um, be consistent with the diet. But I've been hitting my macros and my protein fairly well. I'd, I'd say around 89% of my diet, I'm hitting it. Training has also been going well. I'm not feeling any sort of any degradation in my performance yet. I am, if I'm not maintaining the intensity, I am in increasing, I'm progressively overloading. I do sometimes get impatient when I look in the mirror, I just want the shreds now. But uh, I have to remind myself that we're just 12 weeks out. We're still 12 weeks out. That's a long time if you look at it. It's just time is flying by so fast. And I would expect the results to come, you know, at the same, at the same uh, rate. But I know my body pretty well, and it will not show the results until after I've done majority of the work already, like towards the end, probably around eight weeks in. Right now we're just four or I think five weeks in. So I think after three more weeks, I'm really gonna start seeing some shreds. Although right now. I am feeling really dry. I, 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 I'm noticing some vascularity in areas where I normally don't, uh, especially in my arms. My, my arms and my shoulders are the first to get shredded before everything else. My belly is the last one to go, especially the lower abs. And I don't really show legs much, but that's where I, sh I store most of my fat. I was um, a very chubby kid. You know, I stored most of my fat in the... Uh, uh, glute area and I had a very big booty and uh, up till now it hasn't changed I store most of my body fat around my lower abs and my lower body so that's, that's gonna be the last place to go I've never really had shredded feathered glutes I'm not sure if that is my goal but as long as I can get the vascularity in the abs section I think I'm gonna be good enough for a men's physique show so yeah I guess this is um the most pumped up physique update trying to experiment with some posing where I can look a little bit more dominant a little bit bigger instead of the flailing around of the arms so I still have to practice my routine six to seven hours of solid sleep now we're gonna get chicken and rice and then we're gonna train hard later and nothing simpler than that, man. That's, that's what fitness is. It's so simple. Just one, two, and three, right? Once again, guys, thank you for all the support. And if you've been following along with this journey, uh, I appreciate that very much. I really hope that you know the video is a little bit more enjoyable. I am experimenting with the long-form style of hyper-edited videos where it's more like a montage and a compilation. It's more fun for me to edit that way. A good gauge of, of really good, of if my content is good, is if I would watch it. Would I watch my own video? <laughs> and if the answer is no, um, I'm, I'm, I know that that video is not gonna do so good. But the goal here is not the views. Um, my goal here is to just document the journey and have fun with it as much as possible. And also shed some light into what you know competition life is like. Yeah, just like I said earlier, it's a lot of repetition. 11 week out video is coming out soon. Thanks again for stopping by. I love that you're checking up on me and my so-called progress. Um, I hope to see you on the next one.